Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the final three episodes of season one of My Otome. So it's gotta, uh, so it's gotta get started with episode twenty-four and three, two, one, go. I'm sorry, I'm a little stressed right now, so. <sighs> True, because we did find that out. No. Until we see that scene that's going to be happening in this episode. Because after that, I, I don't really think she wants you to see her as your daughter. Like, to me, in my opinion, her reminiscing about her getting ready to go to school to become a Tomei and her dad saying, you know, the things that he said, that is her last little bit of her, um, maybe not only her sanity, but her, um, mm, her confidence in herself, maybe, possibly. Because once she closes the door, she's saying, well, no, it, it's, she's also saying goodbye to her old self. That's the thing. When she closed that door, she realized she could never go back to it. I think also accepting um, the Ruby also means, yeah, she is never going to go back to the way she is. The, like I said, these are the final three episodes before we start season two. And then after season two, um, the person wants me to, who requested this, wants me to go back and watch something else with this series and a couple other things. Just to kind of maybe get like a few unanswered questions for it. Because um, like I said, it's a screenshot on my phone and such. So, mm. <laughs> I don't like being stressed. This is the worst way for me to wake up. God, I woke up. I woke up early and then I woke up late at the same time. <sighs> it's already one, almost one and I have three hours worth of ish to get done by four. And this is going to take forever to edit too. Can't talk about it around them. something in my eyelashes. <laughs> well, damn. Oh. Something told me they were gonna be found eventually.
Oh. Is it workers? Mm. Despite the circumstances, I don't think y'all really happy to see each other. I know I wouldn't be. <laughs> Exactly. But see, hold up. Does, does no one want to talk about how they have to talk? They have to follow orders under Nina? Like, I mean, I understand why, but still, she, at the end of the day, she is still a child. Child. <laughs> You know how, like, some people are like, know your place? I mean, I'm happy that this is going for Nina, but still at the same time, it's messed up. Someone at her age shouldn't be dealing with all this, but in the end, she has to because of what she did and what happened that day with Ursi and everything, you know? Because, like, what if this ends, like, on a way where Arika and Nina can't be friends anymore after that. <laughs> but it's written all over your face. Girl, oh my god. She So do you want to wait or just, uh, are we going according to plan? So we're not waiting.
Is this supposed to be a tombstone? Not to, a, a grave? A bottle opener or something? I'm a little confused. <laughs> Yeah, just remember, at the end of the day, you killed her. You killed her. And she knew she was going to die. This is so awkward. What? No!
They really did this. Uh, okay. Um, I don't accept it, but okay. You really fucking slept with your daughter. Even though she ain't your daughter. She your stepdaughter. <sighs> okay. blood on your hands just as much as your daughter does. I, um, I didn't think he was going to get killed, killed. I, I thought he was just going to get shot maybe somewhere around here. Yeah, but hold up. She can't really do anything because she had sex with her dad. Okay, no, no, never mind. No, she did because she's still using it. But so then they just slept together without actually sleeping together. Still, that's a little weird. I mean.
This is going to end badly. I, I just know it. With the two episodes we got left of season one and the four episodes of season two, of course this is going to end badly. But the thing is, me and like your dad would not want you to go down this road. But it's too late. Jesus, oh. oh, 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 okay, what the heck should I say about this episode? Alright, so number one, like I said, I did not think Sergey was going to get shot slash be in the between of life and death. I was not expecting that to happen. If he was to get shot, like I said, I thought he was going to get shot maybe around the shoulder, his chest, or pecs, somewhere on his stomach. Um, but the fact is he got, like, shot right between, and he is now in the between of life and death, and Nina is the only one who can save him. And, of course, she's saying yes to this. This is not, this isn't good. This is not good. We got two episodes left before I'm done with this show. Completely for season one before I start season two next week. Um, girl, this too much. <laughs> this too much. So you give me a moment where it seems like these two slept together, but they only really laid down together. But the fact is, but they kissed. That's still a little awkward to me. I mean, like, mmm. Not in, it's not like a, a good night kiss. That, that was a love kiss. That was feeling in that kiss. And it was very fucking awkward. I'm just saying, like, mm mm. Oh, and don't even get me started on Tomoy. <laughs> Tomoy is a. Big mother effing liar. Like, this girl will literally go back to her big sister and be like, oh my god, like, Nina did this to me, and Nina did that to me. Da, da. Even though, yeah, Nina did slap the shit out of her, because, I mean, we all saw that. But, um, <laughs> she is the type of child or girl or even woman, because some women do do this, where it, something happens and they go to their significant other for, like, attention quote unquote they're like oh my god like such and such did something to me can you do something about them like you know a little snitch <laughs> but something tells me it's gonna backfire because of course she saw that letter so i think when tomoe was not there she had to oh, excuse me I'm sorry. She had to read that letter. Hopefully we get to see what her th her letter says in the next two episodes. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 25. Okay, episode 25 and 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. Oh my god. I shouldn't be sleepy. I literally just woke up like an hour ago again after waking up at like 7 in the morning. 
really more of sex. And that's when I should have got this shit done. But no, I was like, I'm gonna lay in bed. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna wait until like 9, 10 to watch this. And then I fell asleep. So that's how we're doing it, huh? We're using it as, oh, they're gonna come and take Sarah Kay away from you. Fuck that! But this is exactly what he wanted. So, I mean, it makes you wonder. Is he truly satisfied? Probably not. He wants more in life than this war that is currently starting as of right now. Or that has been starting for several episodes. But this is just truly where we finally get to see an episode where people are fighting. And not going back and forth. People going on hiding. This is that and the third. This is... Once again, this is a life or death situation for these characters, and we only got one more episode left before we're done with the show um, for the first season. Anything can happen by now to an hour from now. That's the thing before I watch Bakuman. Because good thing I decided to watch this first because I was like, hmm, let's be different and go ahead and watch this first to see how in the world this ends and to see if season one is going to get me, like, leave me pissed off or something because something kind of tells me that the end of this first season I'm probably going to be pissed. Maybe a little happy about certain things but probably more pissed than happy. Who knows but like I I'm scared. I am truly scared and I feel like Arika Arika's going to make appearance in this as she did in 24 but I feel like that battle that we're going to get with Nina that's not coming until 26. Oh my god. This is so nerve-wracking. I hate this. And they haven't had a war out like this since so many years ago. I hope so too. I mean, well, that old hang just keeps your ass, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right?
Of course, they'd be all over the frickin' place. Girl, you better talk a little bit faster. I think with the slaves, they're going to be targeting everybody. It doesn't matter who they are. Okay, never mind. Honestly, that's how you make a savior's entrance. The fuck? There is no time though. It literally took 25 episodes for her. I was like, what the fuck? They could have showed this early. Like, oh. Oh, fuck. Uh -uh. Go look 
course. Come on now. You thought. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> The way the girls are fighting. Oh my god. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> but see, they ain't fighting over no men. They fighting over some women. Oh Jesus. <laughs> some of them is fighting for the men. But <laughs> I can't. Oh god. Because you can even still tell that, even till this day, like, the dominance of male is still there. And there is a lot of female independence and female dominance, and I love that. But, ooh, God. Right. Yeah, cause see, having Nagi, a dumb, dumb boy, stupid boy, ain't smart. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah, you know, I, I've, I've never liked this chick. Maybe in the beginning, but once she finally showed her true colors, like, mm-mm. This chick got a problem. Like, oh, God, mm-mm. Let's just go ahead and kill someone, please.
That's fine. I mean, but the rest of the matches were still on the other Well, there is. Yeah, she dying. Oh, she dead. There is no way in hell she... <laughs> she can't survive that fall. Do you know how long of a fall that was? Girl. <laughs> she is dead. If she survives, then woo. Because <laughs> I, I know this is a show at the end of the day. But come on now. This would be a little obvious. Even if it is your mother. That's got to be one of the most heartbreaking things that you have to do. Honestly, she would have been so proud of you. Oh. And that was the only way that she would be able to do that. She had to kill her mom. That hurts. But you look just like her. You put your hair down and it changed colors and this.
Mm -hmm. Oh, she looks so much like her mommy. That's so cute. Nina. Now well, here comes Tornado Nina once again to fuck it up for everybody. You would fucking in right there, god damn it. Okay, so I am happy. Happy and sad about what Arika had to do, you know, to reach the stages of the Blue Sapphire. I mean, to meet her mom, to finally, after 25 episodes of wondering who her mother was like, what her mother did, even though she knew her mom was an Otome, and possibly being able to see her mom, to finally be able to see her, ultimately, in the end, having to destroy and kill her in order to go into the final stage of the Blue Sapphire. That is sad and poetic, very poetic, and that hurts so deeply fucking deeply I can't imagine ending someone's life in order to extend like your power it's a little fucked up but I get it I understand of why she had to do it because once again we are in a life or death situation with this show and we don't know how this is truly gonna end um Tomoe Tomoe should have straight up died I'm sorry Tomoe should have died that like the you know what her her being Alive still is a gift. She gonna use that gift for good. Who knows? We ain't gonna know until like how. However, this season is going to end, getting into season two. But now we're getting into the final, the final, final battle for all these characters, and this is where everything is truly gonna go off. And honestly, I am really scared. I say that all the time, but <laughs> I, I am really, truly scared. Like, one of them might die by the end of this. I don't know how this is going to end. I don't know how season two is going to tie up and wrap up with season one. I don't know how, I, and I'm guessing the, the next series that they want me to watch is the prequel series to this. Um, I don't know if the prequel series is, or sequel series is going to talk about this and such but because something tells me season two will probably talk about this situation a lot with the four episodes that it has but still at the end of the day i'm not really gonna know until i watch it but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for the final episode okay final episode in three two one go damn it's already 147 i like didn't think I was going to get done in time. But I still got one more video to watch. One more show to watch. And that's three episodes as well. So I still will probably be done by four. So y'all did have wait y'all did have sex. Okay, you know what? When this comes out, I, I need I need an explanation. Did they or didn't they? Because one minute you we said we did, and then that we didn't. What's the answer? If they did, she shouldn't be using her powers. The fact that we are going to be seeing all these girls for the last time until second season. Oh my god, even though I'm starting that next week, it still feels bittersweet. And to just see them all transform one last time. Like, ugh.
chairs. She's right. Also, I made a mistake about the headmistress because the headmistress transformed like several times. So, my bad. Pretend you didn't hear that. Like, mm. But to see that transformation one more time, like, ooh. It looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. But see, okay, hold up. Then why can't what's her face transform with the blonde hair? Everybody should have been able to you. Yeah, now she's lighting up. Everybody lit up. So is now everybody able to transform back into a tall maze again? Yeah, they're already gone.
Baby. <laughs> because she was definitely ready to just get rid of becoming an atomic. Oh, it's so cute. Girl, no. Basically, your dad got shot by Nagi over here. I ain't even lying to you ever since. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because he loves you. See, hold up. Now we doing the Final Fantasy 15 battle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to compare it like that, but come on now. Oh, Jesus. Can't help him.
Oh, Arika. So let's end this. Fuck you, you little bastard. Just going right for it. There's always a way, though. This is fucked up. It's like, okay, hold up. 
What if he's able to be saved, but he doesn't remember Nina? Oh, that I hurt. I'm scared. Oh, God, please reach her. They're girlfriends, no matter what. They belong together. And if they belong together that much, then they're just going to die together. Okay, all right, we're just going to go ahead and do it now. So final thoughts on this show. This really little shit. This was a really, truly, really good show. Sad towards the end of it, but really, really good. I I wasn't expecting it to be, like, around the time when Ersty died, for it to go as dark as it did in some of the situations that they went through. Because this got dark, and it got dark fast. I, I was expecting this to be the cutest, lighthearted show where nothing bad was going to happen, but oh, so many bad things happened in this show. But still, that doesn't even answer about, you know, art. Oh, the sunflower! There we go. You really would have thought that, like, Arika possibly would have, like, stepped in line to be the princess, but no. I, I think she's okay with being an Atome. Mm-hmm. But then, hold on, what about Nina? So basically Nina died, mm -hmm. of course, which made the most sense. And then same thing with Surya. Oh. just doesn't remember Nina. Oh, damn. Oh. That's sad. Oh my god, that is for that's Persona 5 Royal in a nutshell with the freaking <laughs> Oh my god, that hurts. Oh my god, but at least the one thing is as she said, she can begin anew with him. And 
slowly but surely he's gonna fall in love with her and i'm guessing we're probably gonna see that in the four episodes of season two but with that that was a beautiful ending i mean i was i was a little scared for a moment because i was like mm, mm, how are we gonna do this because i only see miss little arika and no nina like <laughs> y'all making me think for a moment like yeah both sergey and nina died by the end of the series but really this was a truly very different show there were like i said in the beginning there were moments where it kind of gave me like the simple gear vibes and then at the same time um it didn't and honestly that's one thing that i love about like sewing different animes in general it can give you feels towards a certain show but then at the end of the day it is very different and it's not it's not this show in a nutshell it, like i said it can't the, there were a lot of moments especially with the transformations that and the third but the thing that kind of different uh differentiates our differences between symphogear and that um symphogear had no atomes they didn't have to worry about it they were all chosen um for it due to oh my god because it's been a long time since i've watched sinful gear i think that i watched that what last year um due to like ancient times and because of one woman who fucked up everything uh this was kind of very like that in a way but still at the same time different i'm happy this show got a happy ending it still makes you wonder with the four episodes in season two what is gonna happen with arika nina sergey everyone else who's currently in garderobe um and this is that in the third, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction for you towards the entire first season of my Atome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for the start of episodes one and two for season two. Or what I like to call kind of the... OVAs until we get there because it because it feels more like four OVAs episodic episodes maybe that will still tie into season one possibly but you know like I said we ain't gonna get there until we know but until then I will see you guys all next time bye